This video demonstrates a protocol for visualizing DNA replication by wide-field optical microscopy. Linearized and chemically modified lambda DNA is attached to a functionalized glass cover slip. The free end of the DNA is bead labeled and the DNA is stretched by laminar flow. When replication is initiated, the leading strand begins to lengthen and the lagging strand shortens due to coiling. The large difference in length between double-stranded and single-stranded DNA at low forces allows a direct observation of DNA conversions during replication. The length of the DNA construct is monitored by tracking the position of the bead, which allows precise determination of the rate and processivity of DNA replication. Hi, I am Arek Kulczyk from laboratories of Antoine Van Oyen and Charles Richardson in the Department of Biological Chemistry and Molecular Pharmacology at Harvard Medical School. Today we're going to show you a procedure for imaging of DNA replication at single molecule level. We use this procedure in our laboratories to study enzymatic activities that take place during uh, DNA synthesis. So let's get started. At the start of this procedure, linearized bacteriophage lambda DNA is modified by annealing oligonucleotides to form a replication fork a lambda complementary fork arm, biotinylated fork arm, and a fork primer. The biotinylated fork arm contains a biotin tack attached to its 5' prime end, which allows tethering of the DNA template to the surface of the flow cell. The lambda DNA is further modified by annealing another oligonucleotide that contains a digoxygenin moiety serving as a high affinity immunotag for attachment of a bead. To generate the replication fork, Obtain lambda DNA in addition to several oligonucleotides whose sequences can be found in the